What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you all tuning in as always. If you're new to the channel, quit messing around. Hit that damn subscribe button. <laughs> oh, but seriously, you guys have been absolutely killing it. Um, current and future subscribers, we'll put it like that. You guys have been absolutely killing it, showing the love, smashing that thumbs up, uh, asking questions in the comment section, kind of talking back and forth. You guys have been absolutely killing it. I just wanted to stop and just say how much I absolutely appreciate every single one of you guys. It means the damn world to me and it helps more than you guys know. All your all's interactions and whatnot helps more than you can even imagine. Uh, but anyway, I just got into the shop. It's a little chilly. As you guys can see, we busted out the hoodies. It's cold here in Kentucky. Um, I think it's gonna get down to about 40 tonight or so. That's too damn cold for me. But what's even better, I got the damn weekend off. It's Friday right now. We did, uh, I pour concrete. Um, we poured a slab today. Uh, kind of worked a little bit later than usual, um, but got the damn weekend off. Saturday and Sunday and that, that's slim picking in this neck of the woods. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna enjoy it. Um, I've got some parts set out over here. I got my handy dandy monster over there. We're gonna crack it open. It's Friday night, y'all know the deal. Cracking the cold ones. Uh, but we've got some parts for the little blue ripper right here. Um, and I'm pretty excited about them. Um, I've got a couple other parts I want to show you guys uh, at the, maybe at the end of this video because it'll probably be the following video after this one. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get situated. I'm going to crack open my monster. My, I'm a little... <coughs> I'm a little dry. Uh, so let's get going, boys. Shit. You know it's cold whenever it looks cold outside. If you know, you motherfucking know. So, let's get over here and get to it. Um, like I was saying, we've got some parts for the blue truck. I'm gonna get it up in the air. Um, it actually, uh, if you didn't watch the old video, quit sleeping, go check it out. Um, there'll be a link in the description. But it's got a new rear main seal on it. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace, uh, replace the one that's on it anyway. Um, and I do believe we've got a leaky oil pan or oil pan gasket. Um, so me being me, I bought an entire oil pan gasket um, and I've got a couple other things that I'm gonna go over with you guys. Um, but just for the main, there's a, this is a, there's a few things in here. You guys can see uh, mixed, mixed merchandise. Um, so I'll show you guys what else, but for the oil pan itself, um, and like I say, I'm working on a 2000 model Chevy 1500 with 5.3 V8. Um, this is the part number for the oil pan. And this is all from Summit Racing. Uh, quick shipping, good, good, good turnaround. Um, go check them out. Uh, but anyway, there's part number for that. Rear main seal is up here. There's the part number for that. Both Dorman products. Uh, excuse me. Uh, but anyway, we're going to start with the rear main seal, actually. I think. Uh, actually, no. Uh, let's go underneath the truck. Let's remove some stuff first. We'll kind of bounce around a little bit. I think I'm gonna take the rear main seal off and the oil pan and then kind of reverse my steps, uh, then put the oil pan on, then the new rear main seal. Um, so let, actually, let me get the truck up in the air and then we'll check out the new parts. We got the truck up in the air. Um, I just wanna pop underneath the truck here now, obviously, we have skipped a huge step. <laughs> Transmission is not in here. Uh, now, reasons being, we're doing a 4L60E automatic to an NV3500 five-speed swap. Um, and now, this is neither here nor there, but if you're curious about it, that's something that interests you, I definitely urge you to hit that dang subscribe button. Seriously, guys, bunch of cool content. Uh, but anyway, we're under here. Um, like I said, we're doing the oil pan and the rear main seal as a pair, but I'll kind of touch base on what needs to be done on both of them. Um, but it's a fairly simple job for both of them if the transmission is already out. <laughs> but anyway, so like I was saying, the rear main seal, it looks pretty new. Now the transmission, it's labeled that it has a Jasper rebuild in 2019. So it's a couple few years old, um, going on a few years anyway. So at, at worst, we got a two to three year old remain seal. Um, looks pretty new. Nonetheless, it is coming out. Um, I, just peace of mind, call it what you will. I got a new one, I'm gonna replace it. Uh, why the hell not? Uh, the transmission isn't out 
all too often, might as well take care of everything that you can while it's off. It's, that's just me, and that's just my opinion. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna yank it off. Um, it's just got 10 millimeter bolts all the way around here, and then you've got two long johnnies, beep, 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 poking up in through here. Um, so we're gonna pull all those out, and then you can just slide your remain seal off, and then you can see the gasket or the rear main seal and the rear main seal cover. Um, but you've got the gasket here, make sure to pull it off and replace it with a new one. Um, I've got an entire, I'll just show you guys over there in a minute, Never mind. Um, so that's all it is. It's just 10 millimeter bolts all the way around, pull it off, grab the gasket as well. And then we'll go ahead and get to draining the oil. I instantly regret that. There is bolts everywhere. <laughs> Anyway, you're going to want to grab a catch pan because you will get some leakage. Uh, probably could have drained the oil first, but it is what it is. I guess I could film up here. But we're just going to yank it off. It will be a little tight down here because you will need to put some RTV on the bottom side of your main seal. But we're just going to try to yank this bad boy on off here. I don't know if it's going to come or not. Get on off here, you Johnny bitch. Let me grab my, my prying tool. What's up on that? I think she's I think she's coming, boys. Get off, you cock smoking motherfucker. Good gosh. Excuse my language, guys. <laughs> Telling you, I get that monster in me. Different animal. There she comes, boys. Kind of a pain in the dick. All right, now we got the rear main out. We're gonna go ahead and take our 15 mil and get the oil draining out of this bad boy. I do not suggest draining your oil on the ground. Grab a catch pan. I get the shit out over me. So we got the oil drained out. Um, don't mind that red tint. There was some transmission fluid in there when I yanked the automatic out of this truck. Um, but anyway, so we're going to try to get to our oil pan now. Um, we're just going to go ahead and leave our oil filter on there. Um, but before we go to our 10 millimeter oil pan bolts all the way around, um, we're going to remove this skid. It's just held on with four 15 mils. Um, and then we're going to remove this cross member here. Um, I'll get the exact size on these here in just a second. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. I hate this shit whenever people put zip ties on whatever, anything, and don't even clip them. It's just lazy if you ask me. Uh, and it's all up in the way. Get up on out of here. Um, but anyway, uh, I, anyway, yeah, we got to pull this skid off. We got to pull this cross member off, and then we can get to our oil pan. Um, we're going to have to finagle to some because I really don't want to pull anything else off here. Um, but we might have to. We'll see. Uh, I'm just going to get these yanked off, and then I'll show you guys all the old band bolts. I think I'm gonna look up um, and that's all I'm gonna have to take off. That little skid and that little cross member, doohickey, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and those did end up being 18 millimeter bolts and nuts. Uh, just grab your impact gun and grab an adjustable wrench, pop them bad boys off. Um, like I say, this is a two wheel drive truck too. So this job's gonna be a little bit easier for me. Whenever it comes to four wheel drive trucks, pretty sure there's a little bit more disassembly involved. Don't quote me on that though. Um, so anyway, 
All right, come under here. And obviously you've got uh, umpteen million 10 millimeter oil pan bolts all the way around. But you've also, oh, I'm slipping and falling. We've got a couple little brackets, like that bolt right there. It's a bracket for these wire looms here. So you're gonna pop it off and let it dangle. Um, you've got, there's another one of those. Yeah, right here. Let's see if I can get to that, see if it'll focus. Boop. Focus, baby. Boop. Right there. Hey, 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 yeah. That bolt right there, another 10 mil, you're gonna wanna pop it out to get these lines loose, like your starter wire and stuff. Um, this connection is fine up top here, um, but you've got your oil level sensor. Now let me grab a pick. You're gonna wanna grab a pick, preferably like that. It is like a bat. And you're just gonna come on up in here and you're just gonna kind of fish in there like that. And just kind of pick up on the tab and then back it out if we can do it with one hand back on out of there jimmy yay back it on out of there um, i'm not sure the exact size of this sensor here but we're just gonna grab i don't know if this adjustable wrench is big enough we can see it'd be better off or you are better off getting a socket for this so it's tight on all corners or are you gonna send it because why the hell not Make sure she's kind of snug. Oh, she came out easy. Like butter. I don't even know if I was filming that. We're just going to pop it out too because I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to put it on our new uh, oil pan. And it'll be a little bit easier uh, getting this off while it's on the truck rather than holding on to the oil pan and everything. Just be careful pulling it out. Boom. And that's just your uh, oil level sensor. Pretty damn easy. Damn. I might have to clean up on that pretty good. We're just gonna sit that bad boy right yonder. Um, so like I said, we just got a couple more little bolts and then we can start busting loose our 10 millimeters all the way around, all the way around to the front. Biggest thing is just being careful dropping the thing down because uh, there will still be a little bit of oil in there. So just be careful. <laughs> actually the next day you guys uh it's about eight o'clock saturday morning and it's been an eventful one uh not necessarily for me but just watching uh had to circle the shop a few times before i worked up the gumption to come in here uh there's about three sheriffs a rollback um and i'm being a little bit quiet because they're right outside my shop um i think that was it but they was blocking somebody in somebody broke in used an old code and jumped the fence out something along those lines i don't know what happened um but they're dealing with that they said come on in though so we're here we got to get to work boys uh but anyway ran some errands this morning got to go juice went and picked up some oil because obviously there's no oil in the truck 
Uh, but we unboxed some parts last night. We got the rear main seal unboxed, the entire kit, and we got the new oil pan. Um, just real quick, the Dorman rear main seal, it comes with everything you need. New gasket, whole new uh, rear cover, comes with new hardware minus the real long two Johnny skinny bolts. They don't have those and they got instructions if you need them. Um, I suggest if it's your first time doing a rear main seal and you're trying to uh, bite the bullet and do it, watch a youtube video preferably this one <laughs> but anyway uh new oil pan um we're gonna throw it on first because we're gonna reverse our steps we took the rear main seal off first as it sits kind of right like so uh so we got to put the oil pan on first uh and we got a new gasket for it over there let's go ahead and grab it and show you guys don't mind that part i oh, can't wait to show you guys that I love the thing that Summit and Cletus got going. It's too damn cool. Uh, but so here is our new... Yeah, guys, I got a road nose here. Here is our new Phil Pro oil pan gasket. There's your part number. It's the one I'm using. You guys can see it's for 4.8 up to 6.2. Um, so we got that new gasket to go with it as well. Um, just make sure you got it put on correctly. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go underneath... I don't know what else filming. I'm gonna go underneath the truck. I'm gonna take some brake clean, kind of clean up all my surfaces, uh, go over everything, make sure there's no gunk, uh, clean up all the gasket surfaces and whatnot, um, and we'll just go ahead and get this damn oil pan fitted up, knock this shit out. Um, there's not too much to it other than to do it. If you guys are curious on all the part numbers and prices, here you guys go. Don't mind that bottom one. <laughs> Um, here's your part numbers, here's what they are, here's your price, um, and this is my value for all the parts. If you guys want to pause the screen and get what I got, go to summitracing.com. I forgot to show you guys, I don't really feel like going back on footage right now, uh, but we had to bust the rack loose here. Um, it was just held on by some 15 sixteenths nuts on the outer side, and you've got these long ass bolts feeding through here. Um, I disconnected my sway bar. Try to get them out, but that did effectively nothing because you've got to disconnect it all the way <laughs> for that to matter. Um, but you can slide it off pretty easy. Just press out. Um, I recommend if you don't have one of these support stands, you are missing out. Get on Amazon and grab one of these bad boys. It's good for everything. Exhaust, something like this, supporting the truck. I got one back there, uh, just all around. But I had to drop it to get the oil pan out. Uh, not a big deal. I kind of figured I'd have to get something else out of the way. Um, actually it looks like we're gonna need to replace ours in the future well, that's fine we're gonna go over this entire truck anyway um, but we've got all of our surfaces cleaned up i'm gonna go back over uh, my rear main seal surface when we get to it um, but we've got the oil pan surface all cleaned up and good to go don't mind this sludge down here this truck does have i don't know if i've said it before but 250,000 miles pretty high mile truck um runs like a damn top um, so we got all of our oil pan services cleaned up. I'm just gonna grab my gasket, or I actually already got my gasket set on. Excuse me. I already got it set on and in place and everything. Uh, just make sure everything lines up, check all your holes, make sure you're all good. Um, before I throw it on, I am actually, let's see if I can, if you guys can see, hang on, focus. Focus, baby, right there, where the front cover meets the block they get that little bit of gasket material right there so i'm just going to grab a little bit of rtv and dab some on right there um and then we'll have to use some rtv on the back side as well um you can use just about any kind of silicone you can use black gray red whatever um we got a fresh tube of gray that's what i like using on all my engine components unless it's a high temperature uh component then i'll put that shit right there on it um i've also got all my oil pan bolts uh, soaking in some brake clean, trying to get them halfway cleaned up too. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm a little bit of a butt hurt. I want everything to be new. I want everything to be fresh. Um, as we progress, things get a little bit better with every build, um, and I'm stoked on that. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to get some RTV going. Um, I may even dab some on the gasket to kind of help it stay in place. We'll get it thrown on. Um, we'll move on to the rear main seal, and we'll just keep buttoning this shit up.
fucking tarantula hawk spider. Good God. Bro, would you go on somewhere? Bro, go on somewhere. Ew. Scary it away into the darkness. I might let you live though, buddy. Got her all snugged up in place and looks absolutely killer. Um, like I said, I cleaned all the hardware so it fastened up absolutely perfectly. Um, now we got to run across and torque these bad boys. Um, these rear uh, long skinny bolts that go to your rear main seal, um, I believe they are 106 inch pounds. Um, and your uh, bolts running up through along the block are 37 foot pounds. And then your two front bolts that are going up into your uh, timing cover right here and over on the other side, they are uh, 18 foot pounds. Um, I'm pretty damn sure. Uh, but anyway, just tighten them uh, sequence wise, just tighten them like you would anything else. Start in the center, work your way out. Um, it's pretty redundant, but if you don't know, now you know. Um, so I'm going to torque these bad boys down real fast, uh, disattach all the miscellaneous hardware that came off of it, just a couple little things, uh, and then we'll throw this rear main seal on, we'll drop the truck down, top her off with oil, and basically be done with this job. So we're buttoning up everything uh, kind of underneath the truck that went along with removing the oil pan and replacing it and whatnot. Um, so I'm getting this little cross member, I kind of want to clean it up, and look how thick it shit is it's coming off of here i don't know if that's all oil build up or if there was a coating on the bottom of this truck but look how thick it shit is let me see if i can do it with one hand Maybe hold on to it look at that shit i don't know if that's oil build up or not it almost seems like it's part of an undercoating too y'all can't tell me that ain't satisfying though shit's kind of stiff too look at that how much to eat it? <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking eat it. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna piddle around, keep cleaning shit up, um, and I'll catch you guys. It'll just be a second for y'all. Uh, next clip, we're gonna be throwing the rear main seal in. Now, before we actually uh, set our gasket and rear main seal cover on here, um, we're just gonna grab a little bit of RTV and dab in these corners on both sides. And then on the bottom side of our uh, cover over there, that's the bottom, just all along this lip, we're going to run a bead of RTV all the way across there too. We're just going to use our finger, put a real thin layer, nothing special. Let me see if I can go ahead and get some of this on here. Like that. We're just going to come on up in here and we're just going to throw it down in that corner. Just like it. And then it'll kind of press itself out. You don't have to be, or you can be generous with it. That's for dang sure. And we're gonna do the same thing in that corner. Um, and then we're just gonna put a couple little dabs of RTV around where the gasket goes and set it up in place, line up the holes, and then set our cover in place. I like to get a little bit of oil and kind of hit the backside, maybe. I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of oil right through there just to kind of help with the ease of insulation. Make sure there's no folding or anything like that. You guys know the deal. We don't want no folding. Lube her up pretty good. And then we're going to take our RTV and we're going to put it all down this bottom side here. Just a nice thin layer all the way across. And then we can go set our rear main seal up in place.
looking like new money down here, fellas. Looks absolutely killer. I love it. Um, everything went on nice and easy. This kind of gives you guys an idea like what I like to do with my RTV. You don't have to go that crazy. I just like making things look good while I'm at it. Um, the rear main seal went on perfect. Cover went on perfect. Um, I torqued my bolts to 18 foot pounds and I'm pretty sure it's factory spec. These long ones, I believe are 106 inch pounds. I just like to get them, uh, get it tight and then just a quarter turn. That's all I do. That's a pain in the ass if you break one of them bad boys off and you gotta start over. Um, so 106 inch pounds, plus or minus, that's up to you. Uh, but so now, everything looks killer. By the way, these are not 10 mils anymore, they're 12 millimeters that comes with the, uh, the doorman rear main seal cover. Um, they don't replace the long, long johnnies though. So anyway, now, I got, before I end the video off, this is your oil cooler, little block off plate. Um, obviously, it, it's a block off. I'll show you guys when I get it out. But it's just held on with a couple 10 millimeters. And I got, I'm not putting an oil cooler on here or anything, but I've got a pretty cool replacement that I think you guys are gonna like. That Summit had to offer and it was just a cheap, kind of a hot boy alternative to this factory bad boy on here Let's see and it's another problem prone leaky area so regardless i was going to pull it off and i was going to glob some rtv obviously it's got a gasket but put a little rtv that goes a long damn way as well uh you could even dab some on your bolts if you wanted to come on baby of course they're long as shit See that old ring gasket? Oh, baby boop. Look at all this new shininess. I know you guys are eating this shit. Oh, it's a shame the oil paint has to be covered up. Like, see how long it stays is pretty. See if we can nip all the oil leaks in the butt. But so here, here's your factory block off. There's a little rubber o ring gasket. Um, we're probably, I don't know if we gotta reuse our hardware or not, but we might have to. Uh, but this is the same thing that's right here and you guys can tell that's not just collecting that's an oil leak and it is leaking pretty damn bad running all the way down the filter and whatnot uh, but we're just gonna set this one aside of course we'll stick it in the stockpile per usual but uh where's it oh here it is uh here we go i've got a new ict billet oil cooler block off ICT billet, LS, oil cooler delete. There you go, if that's what you want to call it. There's your part number if you guys want to get it. Uh, this is off Summit as well. I can rip her open real fast. Maybe. There you go. Pretty damn sweet. And obviously it is effectively the exact same thing. Um, I'm going to, it comes with a rubber o-ring. I'm going to put the rubber o-ring in there and I'm going to dab just a little bit, just a little thin layer of RTV all the way around the thing. Just because I'm a butt hurt and I don't want to deal with any oil leaks down the road, especially once we get it installed. But this is going to look, going to look tits under here. If I can find a way to reach over here. That's going to look absolutely tits. So let me get this rubber o-ring going. You guys can see the passages that would run. Uh, I'm gonna grab my rubber o-ring, grab a little bit of RTV, throw it on, um, and then we're gonna throw our oil filter on, make sure our drain plug is snug, drop it down on the ground, and fill it up with oil. Um, all of our RTV, it'd be sat up plenty good enough uh, by the time we get the truck on the ground to top it off with oil. Um, so let's get this submission yeah. started. Yeah. not pushing them on here or anything uh, but i don't like the mobile one fram ac delco filters ac delco not so bad uh, but k and n was about the best option they had at the wally world first thing this morning um so that's what we're going to toss in the truck um, i'm just going to top it off with oil um, i've got castro 5w30 maximum performance uh, full synthetic it's what these trucks call for is 5w30 full synthetic um now use whatever the hell you want uh just about any oil nowadays is good to go um i don't recommend using valvoline 
Again, you can use it if you want. Uh, Rotella, that's what I use in my diesels, and it's way cheaper than Babylene, and it works good. So just pick your poison. I'm not pushing anything. If we get sponsored by an oil company one day, then I'll push it. <laughs> but I'm just going to top this bad boy off, thread it on, um, check my drain plug, get the damn truck on the ground, and we'll top it off with oil, and then this one off. <laughs> all topped off uh took a solid six quarts on the dot of course um, went ahead and threw this little panel back on i had it off because i removed my transmission cooler uh but anyway i've just been doing that kind of stuff dicking around cleaning up in the shop some uh taking trash off and whatnot more or less dicking around to see if this thing is gonna leak any and it's not so i'm happy we're good to go um i was more or less just worried about the rtv leaking um but it's set up plenty good enough uh, now this is effectively going to end this upload. Um, if you if you want any of the parts that I got, the link will be in the description below. Just go check out summitracing.com. They have got all kinds of parts. Um, XTP is my go-to for the diesel platform. Summit, it's my go-to for this gasoline platform, LS platform, what have you. Uh, but anyway, I'm going home. I'm going to edit this video up, grab some lunch, hang out with Max for a little bit. And I'm going to come back tonight because we've got another package. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if you guys remember that big-ass spider I showed you all ago. I stepped on it. <laughs> Some bitch started running at me, came at me, had to, had to put it out of its misery. Uh, but we have got this. I'll let you guys decide Oh, what it is. You guys know what it is now. <laughs> I didn't read the entire label. Uh, we have got some headers that we're going to throw on the little blue ripper. Uh, and we've got, we're waiting on the rest of the exhaust system, but I want to get the headers in so I can kind of button up everything else. Uh, get the headers in i'm going to delete the egr all that stuff um and we are actually uh sending off the computer today um, i had to get a hold of the company fill out a form kind of uh dot my t's cross my eyes if you will um, but we're we're making strides we're making strides this little blue ripper is coming along um we still got some stuff we got to do to the gray truck over here as always um and actually we've got some more parts in the works for the second gen um i haven't decided what route i want to go with it in particular um and i think i figured out a route we're gonna go anyway that is enough rambling make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that you're notified every time we do something on one of these jalopy trucks uh smash that big thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section you guys let me know what you think of the channel what we're doing any any concerns uh no, save your concerns. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.